one important thing to note about arrays is how it is stored in memory so when we define variables randomly memory locations are assigned to those variables but for an array the locations are one after the other all the elements of an array are stored one after another in memory this is a very important point because we use this feature of arrays a lot while programming now the array that we had taken had this five values 1000 2 3 7 and 5 so in the memory they will be stored one after the other and they were integer variables the array was of type integer and the size of an integer variable is 4 bytes that is why if this address is 8830 this will be 8834 8838 8842 and 8846 with an offset of 4 because we have taken integer array let's see this in a program where i have a simple program written where i have taken an array of 5 integers and we have given them the value 10 20 30 40 and 50 now what I am doing here is in a for loop I am printing the address of each of these elements the address of element percentage t i plus 1 so i plus 1 will print element 1 element 2 3 4 and 5 is equals to percentage t that is here I am printing the address m percent arr index of i so first time it prints the address of element 0 and then 1 2 3 and 4 let's run this program and see so what we can see here is the address of element 1 that is this element the index 0 is 6356728 for element 2 it is 32 an offset of 4 and then it is 364044 so we can see here that the elements are arranged one after the other in memory now there is an offset of 4 because we have taken type integer if we take type character, we will get an offset of 1 because character is of 1 byte. So let us make it character and let us not give it any value, let us just keep it blank. Let us build this program and let us see the values. So we see here the address of element 1 is 6356743. 4, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6 and 4, 7. So we can see here that because we have taken an array of type character, the elements have an offset of 1 byte, but they are still placed one after the other in the memory. This feature becomes very helpful when we are working with multiple values. Let's say sensor values, where uh, for example, we want to transmit value of 100 sensors. So in that case, we can do something like we are passing only the first memory location of the array and we keep on incrementing the pointer. So once we increment, uh, let's say we get this value 6356743 and we increment this, we get 44. So we take this address and get the value. Then we increment this address, we get this and from this address, we get the value. We'll see this in the next video.